We're in chapter 10 now, and we're going to learn to identify and describe three-dimensional shapes. This is lesson 10.1. We're going to use solid shapes to show that shapes with a flat surface can stack and slide, while shapes with a curved surface can roll. We've learned that two-dimensional shapes are flat. Three-dimensional shapes take up space. A cube is like a box. A cylinder is like a can of soup. A cone, if we turn it this way, it looks like an ice cream cone. That's a cone. And a sphere is like a ball. This is a sphere. So these are three-dimensional shapes. They're not flat. We have a cube, a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. A cube has flat surfaces. See the flat surfaces on each side? And we can stack cubes. We can make a tower. We could keep putting cubes on top and make a tower because of the flat surfaces. And a cone has only one flat surface. See that? And it's got this point. So we can't stack a cone. If we try to stack the cones, we can't. And even if we tried putting the flat surfaces together, like this, it won't stand because of the point. So we can't stack a cone, but you know what we could do with a cone? We could roll it. We can roll a cone, can't we? Because it's got a curved surface. And this cylinder has a flat surface on the top and on the bottom. See that? So we could stack them like that, and we could make a tower with the cylinders. And a cylinder can roll because it's got a curved surface on its side. And a sphere has no flat surfaces. It's just like a ball. And we can't stack spheres. If we try to stack them, they'll just fall because there's no flat surface. So we can stack these, the cube and the cylinder, but we can't stack a cone and a sphere. If it has a flat surface on its top and bottom, we can stack them. We need to sort these three-dimensional shapes into a set that can be stacked to make a tower and a set that cannot be stacked to make a tower. If a three-dimensional shape has a flat surface on its bottom and top, it can be stacked. It needs two flat surfaces to stack. So can this cube stack? Can we make a tower with cubes? It's got a flat surface on the top and the bottom. If you said yes, you're right. This does stack. What about this cone? Does it have a flat surface on the top and the bottom? Well, it has a flat surface on the bottom, but it's got a point on the top. So no, that does not stack. What about this cylinder? It's got a flat surface on the top and the bottom. So yes, it does stack. And this sphere, there's no flat surfaces. So that does not stack. So we made sets of three-dimensional shapes that stack and do not stack. So we can sort three-dimensional shapes by whether they roll, if they roll and stack, or if they just stack. If a three-dimensional shape only has flat surfaces, then it just stacks. If a three-dimensional shape has a curved surface, then it can roll. And if it has a curved surface and a flat side, 
on the top and the bottom, then it can roll and stack like a cylinder. We can sort these shapes by whether they roll, if they roll and stack, or if they only stack. So we have two circles, this green circle and this purple circle, and where they meet and cross each other in the middle will be where they can both roll and stack. We have a cube. The cube has all flat sides. So this can't roll. It doesn't have any curved sides. So this can just stack. A cone has a curved side and one flat side and a point up here. So we can't stack a cone because of that point, but it can roll because of the curved side. And this sphere is like a ball. It has no flat surfaces. We can't stack this at all. So it can roll. It has curved sides. And this cylinder has a flat top and the bottom, so we can stack it. And it has a curved side, so we can roll it. We can put this in the roll and stack section. So remember, if it has a flat top and bottom, it can stack. If it has a curved surface, it can roll. And if it has both, it's a cylinder. If a shape has at least one flat side, one flat surface, we can push it to make it slide. We can slide it on its flat surface. If it doesn't roll, it slides. We can slide a cube on a flat surface. We can slide a cylinder on a flat surface. We can slide the cone, but a sphere doesn't have any flat surfaces, so we can't slide it. It rolls. So these shapes can slide a cube, a cylinder, a cone, because they have at least one flat surface. So now we know a sphere can roll, and we know a cube can slide on a flat surface. So which object here cannot roll? A basketball, a gaming number cube, or a can? Which one cannot roll? We need to circle the one that cannot roll. If you said the cube, you're right. The ball can roll, and we can put the can on its side and roll it. Now, which object here cannot slide? This cube can slide on its flat surface. It needs a flat surface to slide. Which one of these objects cannot slide? A soccer ball, a birthday party hat, or a birthday present? If you said sphere, you're right. They don't have a flat side so they cannot slide. In our next lesson, 10.2, we're going to identify, name, and describe spheres. I hope you have a really nice day, and I hope you hit the like button and join me next time. Bye.